offensive power tactics. Most of these behaviors are actually conscious. They're habitual and they're not primarily designed to prevent something feared from happening, but rather designed to ensure that what the person wants to have happen, happens, happens. So they're more offensive in character than defensive in character. The person exhibiting them is primarily not defending anything. They are primarily fighting, 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 fighting you for position, fighting against internalizing the standard they know you want them to adopt, also covertly fighting to gain advantage over you by somehow convincing you to concede their point of view, to concede their point of view, to concede their point of view, to giving in, throwing in the towel, seeing things the way they want you to see them, getting off their back, and therefore being manipulated, manipulated, manipulated. So it's just like when I make the successful excuse as soon as I get you to buy it, that I was justified. If you buy my justification, not only am I going to do it again, but you back down from your confrontation. But you back down from your confrontation. You may even really believe what I said when I ins inferred what, that it was your fault in the first place. But you back down from your confrontation. When people are using these tactics, above and beyond all else, they are fighting for advantage fighting for advantage. That's the secret of manipulation. The secret of manipulation. Unconsciously, you get into the backpedaling mode. But objectively, you can't point to anything that looks like you're in a fight. How the manipulation works is you go into the backpedaling mode unconsciously, but objectively, you don't see the person who has pushed you into the corner as a person on the offensive. That's why it works. You can't point to anything that looks like you're in a fight. That's why it works. Offensive power tactics. Fighting you for advantage. 